the beginning of time, long before the birth of man. The seeds of the forest were sown. From the soil of the earth and the water of the heavens, the trees thrived that they might support life. But above all grew the tallest and mightiest tree, the council oak. Man would climb to the very top of its branches, into the heavens. And it was here that man would commune with God. And that is the story that I was told as a little girl. The legend of the Council Oak. Wow, I never heard about how the forest was made. Where is the tallest tree in the world? Can we go see it next time, Grandma? Can we climb it? I'm afraid that the knowledge of the Council Oak's origin has long since been forgotten. And I am far too old to be climbing trees, Taya. But if you've never seen it, how do you know it exists? I believe that it exists because... But that wasn't the question. How do you know that the Council Oak exists? If nobody's seen it, then you can't possibly know for sure. You don't have to believe me, Katori. You're old enough now to make up your own mind. Well, I believe you, Grandma. Me too. Well, I don't. I don't believe a word of all your stories. Why do you want us to believe in things that we can't see? Now that's enough, Katori. Children, it's time for you to go home to rest. Oh, no! no. no. I to I go back Good night, Monzi. Be safe, Taya. And Katori, keep your eyes open. I know, Grandma Naughty. Come on, Taya. Let's go home. Okay, brother. Why won't anyone ever listen to me? Why does Naughty say such things? But it's just a story, Katori. Yeah, but the other kids don't know that. They think the story is real, even though there's nothing to see. Don't they realize how silly that is? What do you mean? Well, Naughty's story can't be true. Trees can only grow so tall. They would probably fall over if they grew much more. Uh-huh. And how does Naughty know for sure? She only heard the story from someone else, and nobody knows where the tree is anyway. I guess so. But what about God, brother? Isn't he waiting at the top? Now, Taya, now I just said that to make the story sound more interesting. That's not the truth. Well, so what is the truth? What is the truth? I, um, can't say. I don't know. Um, Katori? Where are we? I... I don't know. I'm scared. Don't worry, Taya. I'm here with you. And look, isn't that tall black smoke coming from our village? Let's keep going, okay? Okay. This isn't the village, brother. I know, Taya. But look at the strange open space. This is the trees were planted in a big circle. Brother, look! It wasn't smoke we saw, it was that really, really tall oak tree. What? Where? You mean that one? It's not that tall, you're just short. But I can't see the top. There's no sky above its branches. It must be the Count's Oak like Naughty told us. No, that's impossible. I can't see the top either. It's so pretty. Is God at the top, brother? Now wait, Taya. I 
just explain why the Council Oak isn't real. We just can't see the top from our point of view. It's as if the branches go on forever. Katori, I know that this is the Council Oak, and I know that the person who made it is waiting at the top. No! No, you're wrong! You don't know how tall this tree is! You can't possibly know! Maybe not, brother. But I believe... Okay, that's it. Brother, where are you going? There's only one way to know for sure, Taya. No, brother. That tree's too tall. You can't climb that one. I've climbed plenty of trees, Taya. But this is the one that matters. Taya, see that hollow tree over there? I need to hide in there until I come back, okay? Brother! Brother, don't leave me! I'm sorry, Taya. I don't want to leave you. But I promise, I'll return. Stay safe. Please trust in me, sister. I do. And so Katori, one of such little faith, climbed up the vast bark of the Council Oak. All right. Let's do this. This tree can't beat me. I... Ah! So far down. Katori's body ached, and his mind grew weary. But this only proved to strengthen his determination. A dark and cold thunderstorm broke out, as if the earth itself wanted to keep Katori on the ground. Uh, I can't do this. What am I doing? I'm stuck. Help! I need help. I can't do this by myself. Please, if anyone can hear me, please, help me! And just as Katori was about to collapse and fall, a ray of sunlight came down through the clouds and surrounded him with warmth. Light? I can see light. The clouds are so... I've never seen such a beautiful thing before. anyone hear me? Please, answer me. I need to know. God, reveal yourself. I want to believe. I want to know you. And the boy waited. He waited for the truth. And then, the clouds around him moved to form a hand beneath his feet lifting him up from the council oak into the heavens and it was here that katori communed with god katori brother where are you come down now please it's time to come down taya taya i'm here brother come on hurry we have to go back to the village i must share with you and everyone that i've seen 